Well, a very good evening to you as you join us for tonight's live game. Unfortunately, our weather forecast is somewhat less than promising. We're told to expect intermittent spells of heavy rain, which might very well impact on the quality of the football later. It'll certainly add a new dimension, especially for those players who like to keep hold of the ball. A few anxious faces, hoping it will all somehow stay away, but I have to tell you that, we are told, is an extremely unlikely scenario. Here's a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. And here is the national anthem of Peru. with that anthem now to match it our understanding that they've gone with a 4-5-1. Well, this setup, Peter, can be very defensive if that midfield is in place purely to form a protective layer in front of the back four. But it can also be the launch pad to very quick counter-attacks. If you can offer pace and accuracy on the front foot, it can have a, a devastating effect, actually, at the offensive end of the pitch, too. So it's down to business here. Lerma. Mina. Mina goes looking. He's had a shot! There's an early warning shot across the bow. He trapped it expertly, Peter, and released it very differently. Good idea, just poorly executed. Breaks on here. Let us put a stop to that. Oh, rip goes for goal! A oh, great save, real class. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Peru still to register a shot on target. Guerrero gets it out to the wing. Gets it, and now what? More than happy to take the muscular approach. Goes down, but nothing given. Looking to break out here. And the counter is on. He's left his man, fires it in low. Hoists it forward. Arias, Quadrado, (laughs) 
Arias drives forward with purpose. Forward it goes. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. James Rodriguez. Oh, they could break here. The goal now would certainly liven things up. Lerma. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Oh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. He's had a crack. Away from immediate danger. Sanchez. And it's James Rodriguez. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? And it's half time here. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. How do you look back on the first 45 minutes? Well, they look lost. And that's the start of another 45 minutes. Colombia can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Luis Muriel. Here's Hammers. He's in, surely. It's come. And the shot! They finish! And that is the goal we've all been yearning for. He was urged to shoot, and he duly delivered. Yeah, I really can't say enough as to how good the final ball was. It took the defence out of the equation for that split moment and the damage was all done. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half-time, it's worked a treat. Uh, ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Peru have made their intentions clear by leaving men up front. Looking to play on the break? Yeah, it's obvious that they're prepared to take a, a risk or two. Guerrero. That's sprayed out wide. Peru showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Just has to be done. Tries to get it forward quickly. Sanchez gets into the right position to intercept. James Rodriguez. Chance! It's in! And this is getting better and better. 
just so calm under pressure. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't seem on. It's really crafty business, that. Colombia take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? And no, that is pretty much the end of that. And a goal kick. Guerrero picks it up from the goal kick. Seems now to be all about width. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. That's put paid to a promising move. And he has been fouled there. Ah, oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. <laughs> Hefty challenge, but fair enough. Guerrero really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. A heavy challenge. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. Time and again they are repelled. And it's James Rodriguez, and the weighted pass. Dangerous looking ball, and it's come to nothing. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. And it's played forward, and now they can launch a counter. Good ball. And he's away. Quadrado! And more, and more, and more. And the lead is three. It is surely done. Smartly deceptive. What quality. Oh, it's lovely to see the art of disguise alive and well, but the keeper straight into no man's land. Three. And that will be the final act. Colombia, winners of a no contest. They just swept their opponents in superior quality. Your reflections then, Jim. Colombia simply imposed their strength from...